Seth Rollins was Dean Ambrose and it really actually happened. I'm actually happy that didn't happen tonight. Because that'll save it up for SummerSlam. And that's when they're really going to go at it. But, um... Earlier in the night, Ambrose attacked Rollins. No surprise there. I think he's trying to kill him. Rollins comes out, wins by forfeit. Then Ambrose comes back out. All hell breaks loose again. They have to have 12 or 13 people come and break, try and break him up. But all hell breaks loose again. They keep trying to stop him, but hell keeps breaking loose. They can't even stop him. They gotta carry him out. And... Then later on... After the, uh, the Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt match, which we'll get to in the next analysis, you just see Ambrose pop out of the trunk and beat the crap out of Rollins again. JBL and his, why is he arrested, blah, 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 blah. I, I wouldn't, they should, like, in this angle for storyline, they should arrest Ambrose, like, in storyline. I mean, to be more realistic, because how, like, the storyline is already good enough as it is, but if they added that, that'd be pretty good also. Add a little more realism to it. Uh, excuse me. And it, it'll kind of solidify his kind of gimmick as kind of like a lunatic. Just make it a little better by having him get arrested. It, it will work. It, it would really work, and it, and it would have another reason to keep the feud going because of Seth Rollins working with the Authority, and Triple H not wanting to have a lunatic criminal wrestling for his company. I, I think that would work out well for a storyline. But um, yeah, Rollins won. What happened tonight? Maybe. Would have been better than the match tonight, but SummerSlam I know is going to be better than this. They're going to really step up their game. They're going to put on a hell of a fight.